Welcome back to Ox Tools, I'm Tom. So, um, I, I was making uh, my rounds the other day of all my uh, um, scrap yards and junk bins and places like that. And I started thinking about it. I found something, and I'll show you that in a sec. <clears throat> but I started thinking about something, and you know, a lot of guys say, oh, there's, there's nothing in my area, there's nothing on Craigslist, there's no scrap yards, there's no nothing. And I think I, think I, would, uh, I would call baloney on that a little bit. You know, I think there's stuff all over the place. You just have to look for it. And you gotta get out and go look. And a lot of times when you go look, it's kind of like a squirrel looking for a nut. And, um, you know, you go to the same tree where you found a nut one time and, uh, and you look and no, no nut this time. So you go to the other tree and you find a small nut and then you go to another tree and maybe you don't find a nut. Well, you got to keep going back and looking, okay? And that's how we find things. And uh, so when I'm out and about, I make the little rounds and... Uh, look here and look there and sniff around and uh, and you know what every once in a while I find a nut well yesterday I found a nut and what we got here um, is a nice little English pattern uh, cross peen hammer okay it's even got somebody's initials on it and we'll clean that up and we'll see what they are um, so this is a pretty good one this is maybe a two pounder here something like that um, and it needs a new handle which I got. I picked up a handle for it. So what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to give this one the super spot treatment. We're going to clean it up and rehandle it and uh, and make it spanky new. So there there's the we'll do some. Uh, I'll make sure I do some before and after uh, shots of that too. So uh, um, so the first stage is uh, uh, I want to get this old handle out of here so that I can work the uh, work the head and clean it up. Um, and if we're lucky, we might reveal a maker's name in there somewhere, although it doesn't look like it right now. Um, but anyway, so that's an example of a, a squirrel finding a nut. So, okay. Anyway, let's go fix that up. All right. So let's see what happens here. I'm going to do my uh, slide hammer deal here. See what happens here. You can get a hold of that. Weird. Weird wedge. That's a, looks like a piece of sheet metal that somebody just drove in there. I don't know how much good that's going to do. So let me get something to knock that out of there. Let's see if that works. So we exposed a little mark under here. This is cool. It's got an eight on it. Um, I need eight ounces, that's for sure. Um, hmm. I don't know. Okay, all right, well, we're going to... Let's take a look at this thing here. Yeah, I don't think this is the original hammer, or handle, I should say. That one's pretty wasted. Uh, I'm going to grab the other one. Let's see if the other one uh, uh, is even close to fitting. take much so the, you know when you're buying hammer handles for for hammers uh, you want the general shape to be the same so you don't want to put a rectangular uh, um, handle in a you know in an oval head like this and then you want if anything you want a little bit bigger than than what's there and this one looks pretty good so we'll take a little off of the sides and the width 
the width looks pretty good from here. Um, but that's that'll be later on. And um, we're going to clean this all up, do a nice job cleaning this up, and, um, and uh, make a real nice hammer out of that. So let's get to that. I'm going to start with just a wire brushing just to see what we got underneath the rust. I'm curious to see the initials under here. LJG. Uh, there might be something else there, I don't know. Alright, well this is going to take a little while, so I'm just going to go ahead and do that and then we'll come back.